Hey guys, I'm Pete. Uh, Pete Dow. I'm on Facebook for uh, numbers of years right now. I think it's in my fifth years that I'm Pete Dow on Facebook. And mostly what I do on Facebook is uh, talk about the system, talk about the legal system we live in, and the uh, monetary system we live in. I've made the decision to make uh, some videos in English about what I've done in these past uh, five years. Uh, reason is I want this to get out of Quebec because uh, right now everything I do uh, it's not very much published anywhere. Uh, Quebecois journalists don't want me around. They just don't want me around, you know. Uh, they're all looking at me like uh, saying good luck with that stuff, but we're not going to touch it. And uh, I know why they're not going to touch that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> because what I do for the past five years, it's a little bit embarrassing, a little bit disturbing, especially for the uh, justice system here in Quebec. Uh, I've been to court, I think, 14 times now. Uh, never asked for it. Always been invited. And uh, they are pretty mad at me. They don't like me. I can, I can say for certainty that they hate me, they hate me, hate me. <laughs> uh, again, the uh, reason is, is I'm playing a lot with their money. So, of course, they, they go nuts. You know, when you do that, when you uh, uh, don't consider the administration of the justice you're a bad guy you know and <clears throat> it's not because i don't want to consider the administration of the justice it's because my f one of my fundamental rights uh seems to do that without me having the intent to do it you know uh <clears throat> We here in Quebec, we have the right to the surety of the person. In Canada and everywhere else in the world, you have the right to the security of the person. Uh, why in Quebec it's surety and why everywhere else in Canada is security? Well, it's a translation fuck up, you know. Uh, <clears throat> that famous security of the person you have the right to has a surety attached to it. And in Quebec, they just made a decision to uh, give us the right to the surety instead of the security. But it comes to the same thing, you know. It, it really does the same exact thing. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the security of the person because it's. I don't want to... I don't want to uh, do a mess with all this, you know. So the security of the person. Everyone has the right to the security of the person. I think in the Kenison Charter, it's the Article 7 that says that. And I know what it is, you know. I know exactly what is the security of the person. Uh, in fact, if you realize that the Article 7 of the Kenison Charter is a legal declaration, you will have to verify the legal definition of these words that they are using in that article. You know, it's just, it's just logical. You know, they, every time you deal with government bank uh, <clears throat> you 
have to define these words with their legal definition. There's no other way. It's uh, and anyone that's gonna tell you otherwise are lying to you. It's it's legal, you know. So legal definition applies. That's all. And if you check the legal definition of the security of the word security, you will find out that that security was not what you thought it was. <laughs> that thing is actually money. The security of the person is money. It's funds. There is some money somewhere, some funds, some credit, whatever you want to call it, available to you in case some of your public trustees would fuck around with the public funds. It's pretty simple, you know. You can claim that security if ever someone that works for the government, you know, is fucking around with the public debt. It's pretty easy, you know. The reason is, is that those who wrote these rights uh, knew that one day some public trustees would fuck around with the debt. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So today, uh, everyone knows that Canada has a huge debt, and everyone knows that we are paying interest on that huge debt, which is a fraud. Look, I'm not going to spend too much time, you know, to explain you everything, but we have a public bank. We could use that public bank to create these debts at 0% of interest. Instead of that, Pierre Elliott Trudeau decided in 1974 to stop doing that and start using some private entities to create that debt. So if you look, if you go look at the charter, the, the, uh, the debt chart, you know, you're going to see that since 1974, we are being robbed. That's it, you know. They are robbing us. So because of that, you can say, look, I don't want to buy back that debt in any of its form. Because the, this debt has been sent to you in form of income tax, in form of traffic tickets, in form of uh, anything that the government is sending to you on one of its administrative zone, like uh, a municipality, whatever it is, they are asking you to buy back a debt, the public debt, you know. So instead of doing this, instead of saying, yeah, 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 I'm going to buy it back, I'm going to tear off that uh, remittance voucher, and I'm going to attach a check to it, and I'm going to send it to you because I made a decision to buy back that debt, you can say, no, I don't want to do that. I'm, uh, I'm going to use the security of the person so that security can discharge that debt. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, I found out how to do it, you know. I found out how to transform a remittance voucher into a completed bill of exchange. I did that, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I have done it so many times right now. I don't, I don't, you know, I can't recall how many times I've done it. And uh, it works. 
it doesn't it doesn't work like I would like it to be, but it does work, you know. They keep they always gonna keep that bill of exchange. They're never gonna send it back, and they will pretend that you didn't do anything. You know, they're just gonna try to. Uh, they're gonna lie to you a lot on the phone, but never in writings. They will never lie to you in writings. They will never answer your question. They will not cooperate, <laughs> not at all. And uh, they will keep these bill of exchange. They will never send it back to you. Every time I do that, I make a promise to them, you know. The promise is, if ever this bill of exchange is being refused, just send it back to me and I promise I will pay. I always do that. And they keep it. They just keep it. And now they will destroy my life for it. They will probably kill me because of what I am teaching to other men and women. And it's bad because no journalist wants to touch the story. So I thought maybe I could send this in English a little bit over Canada and maybe one journalist will be interested in that before I die and uh, will sit down and listen carefully to what I'm saying because everything I'm saying is true. You need to... When you're going to push the stop button on that video, just remember that, okay? Everything, every single thing I'm saying is true. I'm not lying. I'm telling you right now that <clears throat> you can say no. I don't want to buy back this income tax account. I'm going to use the security of the person so that security can discharge that debt because that debt is flat fraud. Do you believe me? Look, you don't have to. You don't have to believe me. You can ask CRA. You can tell them, hey, I've seen a cuckoo on the internet and he says that I can use the security of the person so it can discharge these debts you are addressing to my person. You can send a registered mail, mail letter, you know, you're, you're just asking a question. There's nothing wrong with asking a question, I hope. And they will not answer the question. They will never answer the question to you. Never, 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 never. Because they can't. You know, they just can't. They, <clears throat> if they answer the question in writing, uh, they can't lie in writing. So they would have to say yes. Yes, you can. And uh, ears how you can do it. <laughs> They're going to have to give you instruction on how to do it. So they're not going to do that, you know. They should do it, but they're not going to do it. But they have to. But they won't. <laughs> oh boy. Look, <clears throat> I got a long story to tell you. Because I've done this several times with several public services. And uh, the results I am having... Is it's it's just unbelievable. A journalist need to film me, listen to what I say, and ask me some question. It's gonna be amazing. It is just going to be fucking amazing. Because I have all the proofs. All the proof I have them. 
So just hurry up before I die, because they're really going to kill me. They are going to kill me. Really. <laughs>